Hey guys, this is Patrick and today I'm going to show you how to edit concert photographs in Lightroom to turn something like this purple bluish mess right here into a dope shot like that. Hang on, I'm telling you exactly how to get rid of these nasty color casts and how to retrieve natural skin tones in your concert photos right after the intro. Back in 2018, I got a gig as tour photographer for a band from Vienna I'm friends with called KFJ when they were the opening act for Billy Idol on his European summer tour. Shooting rock concerts for days in a row with up to 3000 images taken at every single show almost felt like I was attending a concert photography boot camp and I quickly learned um, about the difficulties involved. The main thing that separates concert photography from every other photographic genre is that you have zero control over the lighting conditions. You are not allowed to use a flash during showtime and the entire light show on stage is controlled by somebody else. No matter how hard you try, sooner or later you will end up with a shot like this. It captures a moment of great energy, but the colors are a total mess. Everything is tainted in blue and magenta, there are no skin details, and the shot is completely unusable in that current state. However, if you have the raw file, there is still plenty you can do to fix that. At this point, I cannot emphasize enough on how important it is to shoot in raw. If you haven't already, start shooting raw right now, because there is no way a JPEG could handle all the processing I'm about to show you guys right now. I am here in Lightroom's develop window and the first thing I'm doing down here in the lens corrections tab is to check remove chromatic aberration and enable profile corrections. As you can see, this removes the vignetting in the corners and we have a clean start for our retouching process. Let's move up to the basic adjustments tab here. We already have some clipping highlights here in the face, uh, so in order to recover more facial details, I'm pulling down on the highlights and whites here. And I'm also bringing down the blacks just a little bit to darken the background, leading the viewer's attention more towards the singer. In terms of white balance, magenta is our worst enemy in this case, so I'm moving the tint slider way more in the opposite direction towards the green. And we also want to get rid of the blue, so I'm moving the temperature up to about 6K here. We are dealing with a rock and roll shot here, so I feel like adding quite a bunch of clarity to make it pop and give it that rough and edgy look. To compensate for that additional contrast, the last thing I'm doing here is to lift the shadows to balance everything out. Now we are going to do some more precise color adjustments in the HSL tab. To get rid of the disturbing tones, I'm pulling down the saturation on the purple and magenta sliders and I'm adding more luminance to magenta to brighten up the skin a little bit. In the U section, we need to pay close attention to the blue, purple and magenta channels. I'm going for a more modern teal kind of blue here and in order to flatten the purple light shining on the face, I'm also moving the purple slider more towards the blue. The magenta slider strongly affects the skin tones as you can see and so I'm setting it to a more natural red tone. If we toggle these settings on and off here, you can see that we already made some significant improvements to the image. There is still a lot of blue though, and I'm also not entirely happy with the skin tones, but hang on, we're gonna fix this in the split toning section right now. What we wanna do here is to set the highlight and shadow color somewhere in the greens to neutralize our blue and red tones to get a more neutral look on the skin. This is kind of a trial and error thing, depending on what color cast you want to remove. Play around with the U, saturation and balance sliders here until you're happy with the result. In this case, I pulled the balance all the way to the left here because I don't want any of the harsh blue tones shining through. That looks really good so far, but I'm still not totally satisfied with the skin tones. To do a little bit of fine tuning here, I'm heading down to the calibration tab and I'm desaturating the reds just a tiny bit and maybe also going for a slightly more orange tone here. Yeah, this works pretty well and I'm happy. We are almost done here. In the last step, I'm adding a bit of sharpening and I'm setting the noise reduction to about 35 to 40 because the shot was taken at ISO 3200 and this helps to reduce the grain, especially in the darker areas. All right, guys, we're finished with our edit here. And just to remind you, this is where we started. And now look at our final result. The difference is like teenage high school band versus Grammy award winning rock band. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this quick editing tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for updates and more editing videos like this in the future. 
Next week I'm going to tell you something about my new Canon 16-35 to f2.8 wide angle zoom which already is on its way and meanwhile you can watch all my other videos. See you next time, bye bye!